Okay, so here we are. We're back cooking. Oh, yes. I which love... means we must be in the tin tent. Yes. And we're on the Kadak Safari Chef too. Just that little tiny one. And we're going to be cooking some fresh sea bass today. Yeah. Got these two sea bass from the fishmongers. Mm -hmm. I asked them to take the heads off and the tail off. Mm -hmm. And I asked them to gut them as well. Mm. Okay. So we're just going to do a quick prep. Nothing over the top. Nothing too hard. Then we're going to pop them onto the um, Kadak. And then we're going to serve it up with a little bit of a potato salad mm -hmm, here mm -hmm. and then i've got a fresh salad here with mixed leaves rocket i've got some battens of cucumber with the skin taken off and i've got some red onion keeping it simple very simple but very very nice mm -hmm. so just a quick tip on this one mm -hmm. let's just take the lime mm -hmm. and i want to make sure the lime goes all inside that sea bass and then all over the top and if you get some really, really good juicy limes like these ones, mm -hmm. then you know you get lots of lime in there. Any particular reason why sea bass? Um, what the lime on the sea bass? No, just just sea bass. Any reason why you chose sea um, bass? Because I'm not a great lover of fish, <laughs> but I love sea bass because it's really meaty, tastes lovely. Um, yeah, I mean, I'd say I'm not a lover of fish. I love salmon, I love cod, I love plaice, I love scampi, I love squid, I love sea bass. So, yes, I do like fish, but I don't like fishy fish. You don't like prawny stuff, do you? Uh, hot prawns are okay now. Oh, okay. Only because I ate them and I thought they were chicken once, but <laughs> um, I don't like swordfish or hot tuna. Cold tuna in a can, yeah. love it. Mm -mm -mm. But, um, yeah, sea bass, quite happy. Mussels? Uh, oh, no, not. Oh, okay. No. Welks. You don't no. even like the word welk, no, do you? No, don't even like either of it. And I'm just going <laughs> to chuck a little knob of butter. Do you know, I think next time you turn around and say something nasty to me, you're going to go, welk. <laughs> Since when have I ever said something nasty to you? Well, I'm just saying, you, you don't know you don't. I'm just saying. I don't, so you'll never be able to oh, say welk. that's fair enough, well, I suppose. No, okay, fair enough. Will you? No, no, no. 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 Right, look. I'm just going to make little parcels what, out of What, as simple as that? That's all I'm doing. Wow. Not even going to put any seasoning in there. Alright, oh, okay. Okay, look, you'll see that lime juice mm. in there. Bring it up. Two little parcels. Two little parcels. And then I'm going to pop those onto the Kadak, but I'm going to go fire it up first. Okay. And we will come back to you again very soon. Okay, look, so Barbie's on. I'm using the griddle tonight, or the griddle? Is that the griddle? Is that the right one? I don't Would you know. Call it, a griddle? it looks a griddle-ish. Yeah, griddle well, a grill, a grill, yeah, a, a grill, grill, a grill. A grill. Uh, it's on full blast at the moment, and I'm just going to take those little parcels, pop them onto there, just like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what we need to do is try and get some sort of even heat. Well, hang going on, shh, on shh. through sizzle. That's a bit of the butter, a bit yeah, of fish, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm just going to pop the lid on. Ah, right, okay. Okay. Uh -huh. So it's a little bit of an oven. A little. So little. it's a bit bakey. Yeah. Little, little. I don't know. Don't yeah, ask. All those don't little ask things. Yeah. And I'm just going to turn the heat down to. Oh, sorry. Whoops. Fingers in the way. Halfway yeah. between full blast and little low. Little low. Okay. Okay. And we'll leave it there now for five minutes. Okay. That's five. Is it? Yep, five yep. minutes. Yep. Okay, well, it's ten, that's five, and that's another five. So it's ten. <laughs> Leave it there for five minutes, okay. and we'll come back and we'll have a look and see how it's going. Hey. Okay, so after that five minutes, mm -hmm. well, four minutes really. Yeah, I think it's fair you to say. said you could smell it, yeah, so you were a bit so, worried. Yeah. yeah. Is yeah. that because it's on high, do you reckon? Um, well, it might be a bit too high, so I'm just going to undo the parcel. Undo a parcel? Just to have a look it's in like there. Christmas. Ooh, I don't wow. think the sea bass thinks it's Christmas. But you can see that oh. bubbling away. Now, what I should have done what? is left the left it sealed because that is a steam and that's cooking the fish. You see. Okay, so does so, that mean mine's going to get cooked and yours isn't? No, no, absolutely <laughs> not because they're both warm. Oh, okay, fair right. enough. I'm going to undo that one as well so oh. that at least they both get done. So how do you know this time. fish is cooked then? Look, fish is not a science. Okay. See, look at that. It would you be if it was going to give me salmonella poisoning. Yeah, but you look. Something like this. This only needs to be on here 10 minutes, 12 minutes. Okay. Ouch, that was hot. Ouch. And that's it. Okay, so you, you just wanted to make sure that that wasn't, right, yeah. what, that wasn't getting, what, burnt or something? Well, absolutely. Can you burn Overcooked, fish? yeah. What you can do in that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this down to low now. 
Right. Okay. Turn that down to and the road. And then that will just simmer or something? That will just simmer. Okay. And I think we'll come back again in another five minutes' time. Okay. And have a look. Okay. And I don't think we'll be far off it. Okay. Easy. Okay? Yeah. Okay? Yep. Five minutes later. Mm. It's not so hot and bubbly. I can certainly smell that butter now. Oh, yeah, you can. So that's making me think that we might be... I'm just going to get a knife and fork. Hold for you. I'm holding. I'm holding. That looks nice, doesn't it? Mm. I just want to see if the fish on that top will break. Yep, look at that. See? Bass. Oh, that splits. <laughs> see? Bass. Sorry. Is that as good as it gets for you? Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, it's definitely cooked. Is it? All right, okay. Absolutely. The way so, that could, should we switch it off then and just what let I'm it rest? Do, or no, I'm going to turn that off now. Yeah. Now I'm going to take these off here. Oh, okay. <laughs> Is that a bit hot. warm? Is that a bit warm? Hot. It's slightly warm. And then we're going to take it over to the table. Oh. And then we're going to serve it up. Mm, and then we're going to eat it. Yum, yum. Okay. So, look, I've just served one up. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to serve the other up just to show you how easy that is done and i'm just gonna pull it out of in fact this one i think is just a little bit more cooked it never goes right does it when it goes live no well two seconds ago you took this one out it was brilliant i know oh, there you go oh well, never mind he's camping just take it out just take it out it's cooked mm. it's sea bass mm. It's just lovely. Now, don't forget, look. Oh, yes, yeah, lots of bones There's going to be bones in this. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't recommend you give this to children. Um, and just, well, you can get filleted sea bass. Can you? Um, yeah, of course you can. You'll just get, oh, I'm salvating, mm. sea bass fillets. But I'm sorry, but it's just lovely to eat, especially when we got this from the fishmongers right down near the coast today. Um, and it really was worth it. So cool. get rid of that. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do, we're going to serve it up. A couple of bits of lime there to go for an extra squirt if you want it. Ooh, I miss it. And then just some of that fresh salad, mixed leaf salad. Mm -hmm. We've got some cucumber battens in there. We've got some red onion. Let's pop that on the top there as well. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Good mixture. Absolutely lovely. And then some of this, this is made from Charlotte potatoes and chives. A little bit of mayonnaise. And the secret is a little bit of cream cheese in there as well. Oh, yummy. Okay, let's just pop that on there. And that, I'm glad to say, is a lovely little bit of sea bass cooked on the Cat Axe Fire Chef 2. Mm -hmm. Some lovely salad, mm -hmm. some lovely potato, a little bit of lime, a couple of glasses of wine. Yep. Can we eat it now, please? We're there, aren't we? Yeah. Look, everybody, I hope it's given you another idea of what to do on the Cadac. I really, really do. Um, look out for our next video. What's next? A whole duck Ooh. on the Cadac Safari Chef 2. So we're going to give that one a trial soon. Mm -hmm. um, here you go. Give it a try. Let us know how you get on. Or if you know another fish to do on the Safari Chef 2, mm. let us know. Give us some ideas. Mm -hmm. I hope that's been some help. Please, please, please give us a thumbs up if you can. And don't forget, hit that red button and subscribe. The more you subscribe, the more of these little things we can bring you. In the meantime, Mrs. T is going to get stuck in. I'm going to get some wine as well. And we're going to get a glass of wine. Uh -huh. um, and that's it, really. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Thank you. We love you all. Have a good evening and bye for now.